Hi, everybody. I know in a couple of minutes I was just trying to get organized here. And I couldn't find my third card. How are you? Okay, I can see you now. <laughs> How are we doing? Hey, Janet, Shelly, Rosemary. Okay. Whoops. Nope. Turn you down. Okay. There. Much better. Hey, Robin. Oh, so I can fill you in, um, Susan. Any prayers that you had going up today worked. My son passed his test. Um, those of you that were here last night, I told you my son, who was a carpenter, my baby, has decided to join the police force. And he's been working for about a year and a half to get all of the things done. And he's in week one. And he's doing the part-time academy. Because in Vermont, it the local sheriff that which is who he wants to work with only does part-time and then once you get in and you prove that you're worthy then they send you to the full-time academy so yeah he did really really well today and it was thrilled and he's so excited so thank you for all of your well wishes and we prayed him through <laughs> and we're going to keep him in prayer forever now I keep telling him it was really nerve, you know, it's nerve wracking when you were climbing on a roof, but somehow that didn't seem quite as nervous to moms. But anywho, so yeah, so he's so excited. He called today and he's called a couple times already. He's so excited and he, he got a pass and he went to the 99 all by himself <laughs> and just sat down and had dinner and a, and a, couldn't wait to go back to bed. Tomorrow he gets, to, now it's physical and he'll do fine with that part. Just the, the, the learn, the book stuff is what he struggles with. But yeah, so thank you everybody. Okay, well, today is all about the dragonflies and I absolutely am so excited about these. I decided to stick with one sketch. Oh, and I didn't print my sketch. Let me just grab that. Um, I thought, you know, let's keep this, well, you know, simple. And let's just go with one sketch and do three totally different cards. So that's what I did. I went with really basic. And if you look in the, um, if you look in the files of our group, you will see that there, it's just two pages. It gives you the sketch and then the three different cards that you can look at and see what we did, but we're going to talk about them. So first thing you're going to want to do is start with your, your card base. And I use the Whisper White. Um, I tend to stick with that because it's easier. Whoops, I guess I need to open a new one. Um, it's just a good base to work with, and I know that you all have it. Hi, Mono. Hey, Deb. So, let me open this up. Um, I noticed Tina got her pigs, um, her pig stamps were shipped. They're not to her yet. Mine hit back ordered, so I don't have them. If you are falling in love with a little pig, he will be here, but he's back ordered till the 25th, I think. Some of the new stuff did get back ordered. Oh, I don't know if I can show you this because I want to I want to explain this. I have been Remember when I first got it, I was all excited about the trimmer. I have to tell you that I'm really I'm really more hooked on on this scoreboard. I know it's big. Hey, Deb, but it's super easy to work with and I just love how well it scores my cards. So if you're if you are looking for, um, you know, if you do the over the 150 order, you get an item 
No, it's higher than that. It's not 150. Let me tell you. You get an item at half price when you put in a bigger order. So if you were thinking about some stuff and you've saved it all up, you're really better off to do it that way. Let me just tell you what it is. I posted it in the group too because there's a special this month. Oh, maybe I can just tell by looking in the group. That would be easier than trying to find it over here. Hold on. Let me check so I can give you these numbers exactly. <clears throat> but anyway, the scoreboard is one of the things that would be good to get at half price. Um, I'm looking. Hold on. But I don't want to bring this up here. Maybe we didn't do it that long ago. But we talk a lot in this group. We are very busy. Do, 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 do. There's a picture. I post it. Oh my goodness, where are you? There it is. So, if you order, if your order comes to 350, which I know is a lot, but it might be something that you do for, um, you know, you a couple of people go together. Anyway, if you do an order of 350, you get 12% off your of your order in free stuff. I can't do math, so I don't know what that is. And for this month only, you get an additional $35 in free stuff. And you get an item at half off. So it's a good idea to think about what you can get. And sometimes, like, you can do the big shot at half price. You can do, you know, if there's stuff that you were thinking that you were wanting... It might make sense to do that. And again, I'm happy to do a Facebook. I can set up a Facebook for you if you have some friends that might want to do it. Um, what's cool about this is it does it even. I want to show you the way it does it with the score, with the cutting, the trimmer. That's the word. Hold on, let me do that. And see what you think maybe I'm just being really critical here but hold on okay so I just did it this is done with this board perfect right this one's done with the trimmer do you do it enough Oh, there it is. It doesn't score as well, A. And B, see how it's off just like an eighth of an inch? And I've, I've talked to other demonstrators and they all say the same thing. And everybody said if you're really, you know, you really want it to be perfect, you're going to be happier with this or another scoring, if you have a, a different scoring tool from somewhere else. So at first, when I first got it, I was using the trimmer all the time because I love the score. But I don't like that it doesn't do it perfectly even. And I love that this one does. So anyway, that's why I'm using this all the time now. Okie doke. So you're gonna start with your base card, right? It's the A2 card. And then we're gonna start cutting just these other pieces that we're gonna need to go on the card. So, if you look at the score, uh, the score, goodness, I'm not even talking right tonight. If you look at the sketch, you need a four by five and a quarter and a three and three quarters by five. Okay. I did basic cardstock. I didn't do anything fancy. And all it's really going to do is it's going to give you this really great border mat around the, the cardstock that's going to be the highlight of the card. But let me show you what you can do. Remember, we're doing a lot of dragonflies, and you're thinking, well, that's going to take a lot of paper. Nope, it isn't. I'm going to cut 
out of that back that back mat is where I'm going to cut my dragonflies out and then my top piece goes on and covers it up and no one will know and yet I got my dragonflies out of the matching color right that's how this guy I actually is a double layered dragonfly you can see that in the back and then these guys are on the top okay so a neat idea to save some of your paper so we're gonna work with we're gonna do the trickiest one first the trickiest one is this one because we're using our heat embossing now remember we did this a while ago so you probably should have your heat embossing supplies and I'm gonna do it in this color this time just to be different and I'm gonna cut my I cut some extra pieces here Maybe the big one or the little one I used the gray before so let's use the purple so I'm going to use the purple. I just have to make sure I'm not cutting stuff I want to save. All right. So I'm going to stamp my dragonfly, the bottom one. I'm going to stamp him first. And then I'm going to Versamark over him. Right, Deb? Because you think, oh my gosh, I'm making, you don't need to it. It covers it up really well. And you've got a couple of options. You can do something on this guy. I did it with, I used the fig behind there and you can kind of see it, but it's not super bright. I don't know that you really, really need to do it, but I kind of like the idea. So we're going to use it. I'm going to do the berry burst. I used all the new, all the colors, the new in colors, because I just wanted a chance to use them. I know I talked about using the, the Wisteria Wonder, but I didn't. This is actually Wisteria Wonder here. Okay. So I'm gonna pop you in, make sure I get good solid coverage. And I'm gonna do you up here so I have room for my tail. And then I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. The Berry Burst is a brand new ink pad, and can you see, this is going to get covered up so it's not going to matter, but can you see where it kind of looks bubbly? Some people have had trouble with that. It means there's too much ink on my ink pad. So what I would want to do is just take a plain piece of paper and kind of blot some away, a little bit of a paper towel, which seems like a horrible waste. But it just got, is an overly full ink pad if that's happening and that's making you nuts. It dries and it's not bad. See, as it dries, it starts to get better. And I'm actually going to cover this one up, so I'm not worried about it. What I'm going to cover it up with is the super, super, super detailed dragonfly. big but we can use you okay I'm actually gonna move mr. big show oh. over just a little because he tends to be in the way so we're gonna use my Versamark but first I'm gonna make sure we're dry and we are and I'm gonna use my my golly this is Buddy, it has a really cute name. I knew it before, I don't know it right now. 
but it, it provides anti-static so that my embossing powder, embossing buddy, I knew it was somebody's buddy. <laughs> I was thinking scrapping buddy and that wasn't right, Rosemary, thank you. <laughs> embossing buddy. It takes all the static away so that when my powder goes on, it's gonna stick where I want it, not all over my, my card. All right. So we're gonna Versamark this dragonfly up. This is the really detailed one. And now I'm gonna line it up. Now I have trouble, remember, because I'm trying to get under the camera and not be in front of you. Am I? Okay, good. And pop it on down, make sure it's good and solid. All right, not perfect, but we'll live with it. It's not horrid. And now I'm going to grab my embossing powder. Now the one in the card that I did before I used the white, I'm trying to decide if I want to use a different color tonight. I think I'll use the white again. I have ink on one hand, I'm gonna get that off. You know, what I love about this, this stamping mist, if you get ink on yourself, if you just spray this on your hand quick and then wipe it on your paper towel, it, it takes it right off. It works really well. So you know I don't like to get messy. <laughs> so it works really well. And it smells good too. And then I don't have a wet, wipe or something floating around. All right, I'm gonna take a piece and pop you down. I love embossing, I really do. It just looks so cool. Sprinkle away. <laughs> you did, Linda. Did you make a big... Oh, you stamped a lot today. You told me that. And then shake it off. And then just kind of flick on the back a little bit. A little bit of flicking. Make sure you're good. Then I tend to put this away before I go on to the next thing. Because I've wasted more powder by not paying attention. I keep saying I'm going to do it and I haven't done it yet. I need to, I want to get bigger containers so I don't have quite the mess that I have, but we're working. Hey Jeannie, welcome. All right, and now we are ready to use our heat tool. Make sure it's hot. There we go. Oh, Jeannie, I understand completely. All right, so get everything heated. All right, let it dry a little bit, and then we're going to bring in the big shot, Let's do it so you can see it, pop this down, and I'm going to use this die because I don't want to cut out all the, all the beautiful stuff I just did. Gonna line this up. Again, I'm using my magnetic plate. Is 
Isn't he cool? All right. So then, now I'm ready to put my card together. Got so much stuff here all over the table. I, oh, are you the white one right here? No, where are you? I think I do, but where's my white card? I don't know, it's gone forever. Oh, okay. So we have this one. There's the one I just cut him out of. And I'm going to pop you down on top, right? And then to do the card that I did, I did the heat embossing down here as well as up here. So I did the stamp on the top and I had just bent his wings just a little bit and I only put um, a dimensional on the body, right? So easy, yet really cool looks incredibly classy okay so there's that one then let's do card number two which is this guy now i didn't have this listed on the on the supplies but if you have the honeycomb embossing folder you will love it if you don't have it you can use any embossing folder that you have just get to where he is I was so organized before I started this and now I'm completely befuddled there he is this is the honeycomb one and I really like this one I, thought I had one not open yet I could show you but I don't oh here it is this one is what are you called? Hexagon. It's not called honeycomb. It's called hexagon. But I love it. Yeah, and it's one of the deeper ones. So remember when you use this, you're going to take out your magnetic plate. You're going to go with the regular plate that came with the Big Shot because these are thicker. And then you're gonna put this with your paper that you want to emboss, and then your cover. So I don't need a, a clear plate below it. If you try and do it, you'll notice that it just really doesn't go through. Um, some people have said, well, you need to wet this and get it back. I have not found that to be true. If you're finding that you want it, it, it might be the card, whatever cardstock you're using. You can spritz it a little bit. I don't find that it doesn't hold. It holds fine for me, and I'm happy with it, so I don't bother doing that. But again, it's up to you. Then this guy, and I'm going to need some more paper because I've used a bunch of my paper already. But this is going to go like this, right? Let's figure out these dragonflies right here. And those can go on your background. I already used this purple one. So let's take this purple. Now I'm going to switch back to my regular platform, my magnetic platform from the regular. And these dragonflies are super cool. These guys are all connected. I love them. And I pop them in the middle. This is that background piece, so it's not gonna show. Just make sure that you're in the middle of it, not off to one side or up too high. Pop it through. guys are a little messy. Not bad, but a little bit. And 
in, I use my little piercing thing just to get those centers out. There's a couple of little pieces sometimes left behind. But not bad usually. Yeah, right. Now, I doubled it on here. I don't know that you really need to. It does kind of leave a shadow behind it. It's not necessary. You still get the cool look without it. So now you've got your paper, your embossed sheet. Whoops, I need you behind my embossed sheet. You and you. Then this guy, and it matches the paper behind it if you're a matchy matchy kind of girl, which is me. Um, and then I added these basic jewels to the head of each of the dragonflies just to give it a little wow. And then I just took a scrap that I cut at a quarter of an inch, at a half inch to put my sentiment on. You could do any sentiment that you want, but it's tough to stamp it. You're not going to want to stamp on the, um, the, um, the item that's been run through the embossing folder. It's just not going to do it. So what if you don't want to do that? What if you wanted to just stamp down here? I could trim this green layer by a half an inch, and I could stamp directly. I don't, let me get so you can see it. I could stamp directly down here if I didn't want to do this. I could get that same look by just trimming this off by a half an inch and I would be okay too. So a couple of ideas on how to do that one. Last but not least is this guy. And this guy uses the giant dragonfly. He is bigger. He doesn't have a coordinating stamp, but he's awesome. This one. So he's going to take a, you can't hide him because he needs that bigger piece to get in. So you're going to have to use a piece of paper for him. And you're thinking, okay, but where did you get these dragonflies from? I got those from that strip that we just cut. And I took my scissors and I disconnected a few. You, you can't do all of them because some of them interweave, but this one I took and that gave me one and then I took this top one. So I got two itty bitty dragonflies to go with it. That's what those are. This guy is the big die, right? This one is the same die size that we did this guy with, same size, but I used this die cut instead of this one, whoops, instead of this one. So I get all the crazy intricacies in the wings. Then I took, there is a stamp that does the body and it does this guy. You could do it here and then you're just going to have to use your um, aqua pen and blend it down a little bit more. Then I took, for this one, he needed a little, and he still needs more. I used my Wink of Stella. And I just went over all the, the parts of the wing. I noticed he needs a little more. He's a double wink. Okay, to the, the actual card has that same base that we've talked about for all of them, the same cut, the four by five and a quarter. The only thing I did different on this one is I took the top one, which is three and three quarters by five, and I cut a two inch piece off of one and a three inch piece off the other, just to give me a little bit of color blocking but really super easy. And then I used, this is the fig 
um, stamp, the new ink, the Fresh Fig, stamped on Fresh Fig. And I really like that. I like that tone on tone because you got so much else going on on the card that I thought that would work out better. Some things to work with these dies. They're really, really intricate. So again, this little brush deal, we talked about him before. This is super terrific for getting those little ins and outs. You notice I don't have to sit and poke them all out. This machine does it. This little brush does it. Love that. Some of the things that I use that we hadn't talked about were the Wink of Stella. Aren't these great? These are the new in colors for this year. And I love them. And it first, you know, I seriously was planning on doing like these pastels. You know I like those. <laughs> and I was thinking I was going to do all pastel and wispy. These kind of colors is what my thought was. And then I got those colors out and just thought, nope, we need the brights. So I do love them. Anybody have any questions or problems or things that just didn't work? Oh, great question, Diane. Excellent. I used the fine tip to glue these guys but I only glued the center and they also have dimensionals. Can you see them? Let me pull this off, this might work. Eh, probably not. I glued, on this one I double layered him. So I put, he's got a dimensional holding him to the card, but to get this body to him, I used just a dab of the fine tip glue pen. I love this pen, this for control. It's so tiny and it just gives a little tiny dab and I used it for all of these. These guys are all done with this glue. Um, the dimensionals, I don't have my mini dimensionals yet that I think all of you are getting. I've ordered a bunch. <laughs> I have a lot coming because remember everybody that places a $50 order this month. Is that what it is? I know a lot of people are getting mini dimensionals. I forget what size order it is. But there's a lot of mini dimensionals coming to my house. And I'll be sending them out to all of you. Actually, I think it's the, the $50 order gets the pack of wood paper. The $75 gets the wood paper and the dimensionals. Is that right? I don't know. I'll look it up and double check. Hey, Mary Ellen, welcome. Mary Ellen, you have a busy week going on. Prom and graduation. You are busy, busy, busy. All right, you guys. I hate to leave you, Mary Ellen, that you just got here. <laughs> but you can catch us. We're, we're good. Um, anybody had any questions on any other things to do with these crazy itty bitty dragonflies? And I have to tell you, they're probably the bug I hate the wor the most. I think they're the creepiest things when they fly around. Uh, Kathy, it's June orders. Yeah, let me look and see. It's it's posted. Oh, of course, Carol. I'm happy to. All right, let me, let's make a nice clear spot so you can actually see them. Move some of these things out of the way. And I have to tell you, these were pretty, by, follow, by doing all your cuts first, they go pretty quick. They really do. Um, I, I don't know. I hope you guys are liking the whole sketch concept. I'm finding it really, really easy to follow that mode. Is it confusing, boring? Do you like them? Oh, no problem, Carol. These are the three cards. This guy is done with the heat embossing. This guy is mostly die cuts. And then this is so you can see this one is him. And then this dot, this one, these all connected ones, I love those. Alrighty. 
Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, if you get sick of them, let me know. But I really like them. <laughs> I find it so much easier to work with them. Like once you have the sketch in your head and then you can just go from it. Oh, good, Carol. I'm glad you didn't miss much then. This was the heat embossing one. Good, good. All right, you guys. I have a really great weekend. I'm hoping we're expecting good weather. We are trying really hard to get the pool opened here. And I, but I'll be around. I'm not going anywhere. No more trips to the beach. And I will be in touch. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye.